Hello Twin Flames, thank you for being here, for liking, subscribing and all the amazing comments and feedback you leave me, it means the world as you know and if you are new to the channel, welcome, subscribe, join our family because we're here for you every day. So I've got a really powerful message to share with you all today and later on today I'm going to record a Twin Flame almost personal reading for you and I'm going to connect with the masculine's energy, the feminine's energy and the energy of the journey using three powerful tarot decks. So I'm going to post that later on. Also to let you know, if you are a member or you want to become a member, yesterday I posted a really powerful Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine channeled message using both of these decks of cards. So you guys know I've got the Divine Masculine messages of love. Well, yesterday I announced that this one had come too. So I did a channeled message yesterday for members with this and also using the Arcanum Tarot. Okay, so I use this for members, it was really powerful, so if you are a member and you haven't seen it yet, go and watch that, and if you'd like to become a member, you've got access to that video as soon as you join, and I am going to be doing a channeled message with these cards later in the week for everyone else, and I've got a really powerful message coming through today. And we're going to talk about that now. But I want to show you, I've actually got two decks of these Divine Feminine Messages of Love to give away. And I'm going to be announcing this later in the week. So if you want to win one of these, stay tuned. Because later in the week, I'm going to announce how I'm going to do this, okay? The angels haven't guided me yet, okay? So as soon as they do, I'm going to be announcing this, but I've got two decks to give away, I'll probably give one deck to members and one deck to non-members, but I'll be announcing that later. And I want to give a huge shout out to our soul, sis, soul sister, Shawna, 1111 Butterfly Effect is her channel for giving me an amazing shout out yesterday and for using the Divine Masculine Messages of Love deck in such a powerful way that it blew me away. So I've shared that video on the community page. If you do want to go and check that out, it's there. She's amazing. You know, give her some, some love, you know, subscribe to her channel. She's so powerful. And my twin, Blue Eyes Tarot, also did a channeled message yesterday with these cards. And that also blew me away. So such power in these cards. So today then, like I said, we're going to do a channeled message later. Well, I'm going to do this message from the masculine and the feminine. You know, about what's going on in the energy, the almost personal reading. But now, I want to talk about these little guys. These are Care Bears, okay? I'm sure you guys know you may have grown up with these Care Bears. But these Care Bears signify your guardian angel, okay? So me and George have both got one here. This is my guardian angel, Sunshine or Funshine, the Care Bears. And this is Blue, okay? George's guardian angel, Grumpy Bear. But this is the energy of our guardian angels. And the message coming through today is about your guardian angels watching over you watching over the journey and you, you, okay, not collectively your guardian angel has a mission to look after you, so your masculine has also got a guardian angel watching over them, so I wanted to show you the Care Bears because yesterday I received such a powerful message that I need to share with you guys today through the power of Care Bears, and the Care Bears always signify the guardian angels, and the message coming through is this, you are not alone, okay, you are not alone, so your guardian angel today, whether you're a masculine or a feminine, wants you to know that you are not alone, that they are right by your side, guiding you, guiding you and keeping you safe, and in the divine feminine messages of love deck, this is one of the cards, okay, you are never alone, because this is something that you need your masculine to know, because the masculines always feel alone, okay, the only time the masculines don't feel alone is when they're with the divine feminine, but the masculines always feel alone, they feel alone because they don't feel understood, you know, they feel alone because they're in situations they don't want to be in, it doesn't matter if they're around people, their karmic person maybe, a family member, a friend, they feel alone. And the reason that this card is so powerful is because you're saying to your masculine, you were never alone. Well, today your guardian angel is saying to you, neither are you, because you were never alone, you are not alone. So your guardian angel wants you to know that you are safe. It's really powerful. 
So feminines, when you feel misunderstood, when you feel like no one understands, when you're speaking to your family or your friends and they just don't get it, you are never alone. When you feel knocked down like you can't go on, when you're going through pain, when you're going through the frustration of the journey and how it angers and, you know, gets to you, you're not alone. And the angels want you to know that you have an army of angels by your side. And that's why the other day on the community post, I shared that video of the song, A Hundred Thousand Angels. And, you know, when I first heard that song, I just cried my eyes out. Because I felt the energy of the angels just around me, loving me, comforting me, supporting me and guiding me. And that's how they are with you every day. Your angels love you and guide you and support you and comfort you every moment of every day. So be open to that energy. And you have a guardian angel right now by your side loving you, wanting a personal relationship with you, helping you to feel safe and to know that you are special. And if you want to know how to get to know your guardian angel, go to the playlist, Meet the Angels, and there's a video in there about how to connect with your guardian angel, and it will bring in power. So you are not alone, and that's the message for today. So this was really thrown home to me, what we go through as twin flames yesterday, because last night, my twin George was, you know, he was playing with his brother on his PlayStation, and I had a night on my own, connecting and tapping in with heaven, and I thought I'm going to watch a film or a program and I picked up this one okay and this is something I bought a while ago this is totally sweet adventures with the Care Bears and I love the Care Bears you know Care Bears symbolize guardian angel energy to me and I thought I'm going to watch this because I bought it and I never watched it and there's four episodes on this so giving the, sh the creators of this a huge shout out it, this blew me away. Okay, there's four episodes on this disc and it was about the twin flame journey. So the first episode, it was about this girl and, you know, things are going up the road there. I don't know if you could hear that there, okay? That was actually a highway maintenance truck just gone up the road, which signifies angel protection. The angel's just saying to us all there, you are never alone. Thank you, angels. Okay, massive sign for me there. So the first episode, it was about fear. And there was this girl in the episode because, you know, what happens in the Care Bears is, you know, humans, human girls or children come up to the Care Bear land, care a lot for, you know, to play with the Care Bears and to feel their energy. And the Care Bears are really like guardian angels. You know, they're very wise and understanding and they're full of love. And they just want what's best for the humans, you know. So that's their mission to protect them. And, you know, the guardian angel's mission is to protect you. You know, your guardian angel has a mission to be with you all throughout your life and your journey. It's really beautiful. So, you know, this girl was in fear. She was scared. And what happened was she was given courage by by the, the care bears. So what happens on the way is, you know, we feel scared, we feel fearful, we feel pained. So what happens is our guardian angel and all the angels give us courage, give courage to the divine feminine to let go and trust the journey and trust in the love and to understand that there's no need to be insecure because the love is beautiful and real. And the, you know, the guardian angels give the masculine the courage to speak the truth and be their authentic self and come towards you and be with you because love conquers fear. So the message of that first episode I watched was love conquers fear. So beautiful. And then in episode two, one of the care bears, um, share bear, was jealous of Grumpy Bear because Grumpy Bear was baking cookies and they were much better than Cher Bear's cookies. So she was going into this real envy, you know. So the whole episode was about envy. And it was about how when she was baking her cookies, because she was envious and bitter, there was bitterness in the cookies. And this was, you know, the, the moral of the story. And it was so powerful because as a divine feminine especially... We go through bitterness because we do feel jealous. We feel jealous of everyone that our divine masculine is spending time with who isn't us. So it's not always about them being with a karmic person. It could be that they are spending time on a video game or on their job or 
on a distraction or their family or anything that takes them away from you. You know, we become very jealous and jealousy creates bitterness. And that was a big one. I had to heal on my journey, jealousy. And jealousy is really not, you know, feeling in love with yourself. You know, it's about not caring enough for yourself. You learn self-worth when you overcome jealousy. And jealousy is because you feel like something's missing. Well, when you're working on self-worth and self-love, you realize that nothing is actually missing and that you are enough. And that's what you learn as a divine feminine on this journey. You learn that you are enough. So that was another episode that just blew my mind because I was like, wow, you know, and there was so many snippets of, you know, logic in there and powerful information. It could have been coming from a guru like Yoda, you know, it was so powerful. And this is coming from the Care Bears. And then episode three just blew my mind and I had to print out the lyrics of a song that was on there. Okay, and I'm going to share this song on the community post after I post this video because it'll just blow your mind, okay? So in this episode, the episode's called Sad About You if you want to check it out, okay? Big shout out to the creators of the Care Bears here. So what happens is there's a girl and she's called Joy, which is even more powerful because she's not feeling joy in that moment, you know? And she's sad because her best friend has moved away. So it's about separation. So this episode is separation because your divine masculine, even though they're your lover and your divine counterpart and your beloved one, they're still your best friends. You know, like me and George are best friends united in love. And it's the friendship that keeps it going. That's why the masculines miss you so much because they miss your friendship. And this girl lost a best friend, the best friend had moved away. So she kept crying. You know, she was in this pain energy and all the Care Bears were trying to cheer her up and nothing was working. And you know, that's true, Divine Feminine, you know, when you're in that energy, you know, you're feeling that sadness, that loss, that pain, nothing can cheer you up, you know, nothing. And people trying to cheer you up makes it worse because you feel like they don't understand your pain. And along this way, we feel like people don't understand our pain. So if, you know, you're talking to a friend or a family member who wants to twin flame and they're like, oh, you know, get over it, you'll be okay, move on, you know, wipe your, wipe your tears away. You know, it makes you feel worse because you think that you're not understood. Well, the angels understand you because they're saying to you, you're never alone, okay? And remember, the care bear symbolise your guardian angel, and Grumpy Bear was the real, you know, saviour in this episode because he's just naturally grumpy, you know, and he was really empathising with the way she felt, you know. So you need empathy when you're going through separation. You need someone who gets it, someone who understands. So that's why it's not really a good idea to talk to someone who isn't a twin flame because they won't understand. And then you'll feel triggered and frustrated and you'll feel like there's something wrong with you when there absolutely isn't. You know, you'll feel insane because people try and make you feel that way. So you gain empathy from other twin flames. And that's the energy of the grumpy bear there, you know, that you can kind of empathize together because you've been through it. And then Harmony Bear, who was singing, trying to make this music video, okay, came up and was trying to cheer up Joy and nothing was working. And she said, hang on a minute, I can understand this too. Sad songs understand too. So she sang this song. And it blew my mind because it was a song about separation, about healing, the, the feeling of it. And I want to share it with you. And I'm going to share it on the community page. And this is Harmony, the Care Bear, on a keyboard singing. And that just blew my mind. I was like, that's just amazing, you know. And it says, got a feeling deep inside your heart. And you have the feeling deep inside your heart, you know. It comes from your heart when you're in separation. You know, it's not, it's an emotion, but it's something that's deep inside of you, this feeling. It's like you feel broken. You know, you feel like a part of you is missing when you're in separation. So you've got a feeling deep inside your heart. Don't know when the tears will stop or start. So you don't know when you're going to cry because, you know, are you going to cry? You don't know when the tears are going to start and you don't know if they're going to stop because it's that painful. 
But tears are also healing. That's why God gave you tears, so you could express your emotion. Because when you cry, you purge out emotion. You purge out the feelings that need to be expressed. And, you know, it's like your soul smiles when you cry. When you're feeling down, time passes slowly. And that's so true. You know, when you're down, when you're feeling the burn of separation, time goes slowly, you know. And time's going by really quickly right now, by the way, you know. But when you're in separation, you feel like, you know, a day is a lifetime because you feel down. Whereas you know that when you're enjoying yourself, time flies by. So, you know, this is why sometimes when we're really feeling in pain over the journey and we say, oh, you know, separation may come in for you now, but, you know, you're going to be in union later. You may think, well, I don't want later. It's too far away. Even if, you know, you you come into union in a month, you could still think a union month, it's too far away. And it's because you're seeing things from kind of this kind of bent out of shape perception because you're feeling down and that's when time passes slowly there's a million pictures in your mind now just memories of another time you know so you've got all these pictures in your mind about the memories of how things were pre-separation when things were good you know you've got all these pictures in your mind all these memories of another time and it feels like another time because it feels like it was so far away because a separation creates this distance between you you miss what's gone and you feel so lonely. So you miss what's gone, you miss the past, you miss the memories, you miss the friendship, you miss the love, you miss it. You miss your twin and you feel lonely. And this is the Care Bear singing this, remember. So this is your guardian angel understanding and empathising with you. Just hold on. So the angel saying don't give up, just hold on, be strong. Just hold on and be strong. Even though you don't know where to go, know that you're not alone. So the angel's saying to you, you're not alone. You may not know where you're going, what's in the future, where the unknown is. You may not know what's ahead, but just be strong and hold on because you're never alone. You're not alone. And that's the message coming through for this day with angel bumps. So powerful. When life is like a sad song, keep pushing on and on. So the angel saying to you, when you're feeling all this sadness, keep pushing on and on and on. Keep moving forward. Just sing in the rain. I'm singing in the rain, okay? Sing in the rain. That means understand that, you know, you can't have your highs without some lows. So start being grateful. Start singing in the rain. Start being grateful for what it's teaching you and what you're learning from it. And forget all the pain. Well, you may not be able to forget the pain, but when you're feeling gratitude, it doesn't hurt so much. When you're feeling powerful and in your energy of self-love, it doesn't hurt so much. When you realise you are safe and you're in the now, it doesn't hurt so much. And wash it away. Wash it away. The angels say, wash it away, cleanse it away with your tears, you know, by knowing that you are safe. And this is so powerful. It's going up the road again, okay? It's a highway maintenance truck. It's like going around and around when I'm doing this reading to tell you and to show me that you're not alone, you know? Can you hear it going up the street? Powerful. So this is also a sign that Archangel Michael right now is vacuuming away all your fears and all your worries and your doubts, when life is like a sad song, just sing along. So the angel's saying sing along, that means see the funny side of everything, you know, accept it, empathise with it, empathise with yourself, understand that you're learning. Time heals all wounds and it will be soon when you see sunny days. So the angel's saying this, it's not going to last forever. Okay, time heals all wounds. In other words, time will heal things. During separation, it brings in healing. When you blocked, your mask and has time to heal. And then they unblock you. And then the separation comes to an end. Separation ends and the sunny days come. Good times. It says good, bad, happy, sad, all a part of life. The ups and downs, frowns and the smiles, the wrongs and the rights. And we all go through this, we go through wrongs and rights. So we feel that our masculine may have done us wrong, but really they've done us right because they've healed us, okay? So it's not a wrong, it becomes a right. There is no mistakes, only lessons that lead to blessings. 
the frowns and the smiles. So sometimes you go through the pain so you understand how much it, it feels good when everything feels good. We've got to stick together through it all. So the angel is saying stick together. Your angels are right by your side. And you've got to stick together through it all. So even when you're going through pain, you have to work together as a team. And I'm going to talk that in a minute to episode four. So, you know, you have to work as a team. That means you don't blame each other. It means you love each other and you release the pain. And you've got your soul family here with you now, helping you. We've all got to stick together because birds of a feather flock together. So you're guided where you're meant to go, to the readings you're meant to hear, the information, to the people that help you. You know, your soul family here now on this channel. You know, I'm your soul sister and you're my soul sister or soul brother. Stick together through it all. So take my hand and we'll figure out the way. And your guardian angel is saying to you and all the angels are saying to you, take my hand and we'll figure it out. We'll show you the way. I'm here for you. And your angels are saying to you, I know you're sad and that's okay. Step by step, side by side, we'll stand tall, so hold on. So your angel saying to you, I know you're sad and that's okay. So the angels understand you. They feel your pain. Not like your family who don't get it who are saying move on. Or your friends who don't get it saying move on. Who don't understand why you're sad. You know, and people don't get it because, you know, if you've only had a few moments of contact with your twin on the physical, you know, or you've never met in person or there's all these things going on. There's this age gap, all these things. People don't get it. You only need to be in your twin's presence for a second to feel that love. You could be with a person for a lifetime and not feel that love. And people don't get that, but your angels do and your soul family do. And the angel's saying, it's okay. Step by step, moment by moment, side by side, we will stand tall. So it's going to take time. You know, step by step, moment by moment. It's not like you're going to wake up and you're going to be all hearts and flowers or rainbows and unicorns. It's a journey, a journey of growth and learning, of taking your angels by the hand and allowing them to lead you forward, allowing yourself to understand step by step, moment by moment. And know that you're never alone, okay? Even though you don't know where to go, and that means you may not know what direction you're moving in. You may not know where this journey is heading, but know that you're never alone. The angels are right by your side. And when life is like a sad song, keep pushing on and on. That means you don't give up. Archangel Michael is by your side saying to you, get up soldier, get up warrior, you've got this, you can do this, you are strong enough. So just sing in the rain, forget all the pain and wash it away. And when life is like a sad song, sing along because time heals all wounds and it will soon be when you see sunny days. So the angel's saying this pain you're in is not going to last forever because the sun will come out tomorrow. And then in episode four, it was powerful because, you know, what happened was Cher Bear wanted to get these rainbow leaves that made this amazing rainbow tea so she asked this girl susan to go with it but susan was distracted okay she was playing on a video game she didn't want to help you know maybe some of your masculines are playing on video games they don't want to help and you know care bear well share bear was doing everything by herself so she was tired and she was making mistakes and it wasn't running right and then eventually Susie re realized what she'd done and she started compromising and working together as a team with Cher Bear to rectify all the mistakes and all the wrongs that were done. So this shows that your masculine may be distracted now, but they will wake up and they will compromise and they will work together with you as a team to move into union, to wrong the rights, to get things done. So if you're feeling like you're giving everything to your twin and you're not getting that back, it's time for you to take a stand and move away from that giving energy and start giving back to you. Because when you're giving everything to your twin, you get depleted, you get frustrated, you feel bitter and you haven't got anything left for you. So that's the moment when sometimes separation will occur to heal you. 
okay and you have to be trusting enough to know the love is real and your twin will come back to you your twin will find their way and then you'll work together as a team to make things happen and that's what happens and in the meantime you work with the angels in heaven and your soul family to bring everything you want in because you were never alone so four powerful episodes in this powerful care bear video thank you that helped me to release fear they are giving me fear and help me to understand all the things we go through so remember divine feminines or divine masculines watching you're always being shown the way you're always being given answers even in care bear films or programs you know things you see with your physical eyes things you feel with your senses and things you hear with your ears your senses are always alive to what's going on and you're always being shown the way the universe is always speaking to you so be open to that and know yourself and know that you are never alone so remember that today your guardian angel loves you and you are safe so later on I'm going to post an almost personal reading with cards about the twin flame journey and that's why I'm not using cards right now because this is such a powerful message you need to drink this in so drink it in and watch the video of Share Bear or no Harmony singing this song on the community page because it'll just give you angel bumps and blow your mind have a great day sending you so much love and I'll see you soon